Hi guys, this is a really, really quick video just to explain uh, to Stincy why his plug, one of his plug followers has got a, a groove cut in it. Right, so you've, you've cut, you've um, picked your lock, right, so then you want to get the core out. Right, so what you do is if you turn it... Um, all the way around the opposite way so that the driver pins stick into the um, keyway then take your pin and shoe I've already taken the back off so stick your pin and shoe down the keyway so it traps all the key pins like so make sure you get it right in the right place otherwise when you push your follower through you, you can trap them trap your um, springs and stuff but if you do it this way you shouldn't need shims and you shouldn't trap anything because the pin and shoe is now holding down the driver pins right so then you take your follower which has got yours has got a plastic one it's got a groove cut in it yeah mine's just got a little groove cut hot the whole length of it you push that in the back of the follower yeah and you push it so that it um, the groove goes over the top of the the um the pin in shoe like so then you're in that position you have your pin in shoe still holding all the pins down your follows through you do whatever you got to do with your pins or whatever you want to do when it's time to put it back together you simply see this has got a piece sticking out the back now if I didn't do it that way <coughs> when I first done this one I buggered one of the springs up because I didn't do it this way but this is the best way to do it right so when you want to put it back together you just put it back onto the pin and shoe push it back through and you're back together then what I do is I take the pin and shoe and I turn it like that so now my pins are not like so turn it back round and you're locked back up then I turn it over and put the back back on now if I took the back off of that it's picked and then I just push the follower through like so to try and catch the pins Sometimes the drivers, you can miss a driver or on other locks. Uh, let me find another lock, with, which is a half euro or something. Uh, uh, I've got a half euro here. All right, can't find one at the minute. But anyway, let's pretend this was cut in half. So you take the clip off the back. When you take the clip off you get a canal so when you push your follower in that canal you have to hope that the driver pin doesn't fall in that canal if you do it this way turn this uh 180 degrees then put the pin and shoe in so you've turned it 180 degrees then put the pin and shoe in your pin and shoe is already holding the things down then when you push this in there's no way you can trap any springs because they're already held down so I'm hoping now you understand why your uh, follower has a groove in it. Hope that helped you, mate. And it was just an excuse for me to do another quick video. So, yeah, hope that helps. Uh, see you later, guys. Bye.